In business news across different economy, economies and social strata, business remains a chief driver for economic growth and development. However, an economy can only thrive in a safe and secure space. This was established at the meeting of top security echelons and stakeholders who gathered to discuss the impact of security on businesses organized by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. In his opening remark, the LCCI president, Mr. Gabriel Idahosa, expressed the need for multi-stakeholder collaboration between the government, private sector, security agencies and civil societies as the business community can thrive in isolation. Chairman of the occasion, Chief Julius Adelusi Adelui, expressed appreciation to the joint forces represented for their effort at ensuring a peaceful and secure society. He also appreciated both the current and past presidents of LCCI in their efforts at ensuring ease of business in the state. There is a need of security that is essential to be already established in the world. And the question is whether our own security systems in Nigeria are sufficiently aligned with what they have around the world. The business community cannot try in isolation. And that's why this event is extremely important, security in this business. There are several areas where focus on the front are required. The private sector has a critical role to play. And here in Lagos, this has been demonstrated significantly by the Lagos State Security Force Fund, which is now a very notable success and has significantly contributed to equipping and improving state policing. Let us use this dialogue as a starting point for actionable strategies that will protect our businesses and ensure the sustainability of the Nigerian economy. I want to thank all security agencies for their dedication to protecting our lives and property despite the difficult conditions under which they operate. Nigeria has a very promising future. But something has happened. This has made it important for us to redesign our strategy. The police are the most important agency for security. But if you left them alone, they can't go. So it's a combine of both security and the private sector. So number one is advocacy. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, it's for us to realize, I don't need to jump back and say this broadly, that we keep saying that the problem with this country is leadership. But the truth is said, the problem with this nation, as with all other African countries and developing nations of this world, is politics, politicians, and political parties. It is also about this process of election. It is also about the judiciary. If we can radically revisit these various agencies and retune our attitude to life, representatives of various security agencies, including the army, navy, and police, among other highlight their sense of collaboration while explaining the security plays a huge role in ensuring economic stability. In the face of more defensive security challenges, the Nigerian Army is actively engaged in almost all the 36 states of the country, addressing various security threats that directly impact on our business environment. Through the robust counterinsurgency operations, continued support to the Nigerian police and other security agencies in ensuring enhanced internal security and protection of critical infrastructure, the Nigerian Army remains dedicated to creating a safe environment for, environment for investment. This aligns with our vision of upholding the goals of this administration by ensuring that peace and stability are not just aspirations, but realities for all Nigerians. This is really short as the Soviet Sea and organized one has had significant degrees impact on business operation, supply chains, and investor confidence in Nigeria. Learning on technology, the use of drones, surveillance systems, artificial intelligence, and data analysis by military has greatly enhanced 
security resources by improving situational awareness, enabling real time threat detection, and facilitating proactive crime prevention. Additionally, this has improved accuracy and precision in military operations. The topic of the is that the priority that we have shown both foreign and local investors to come put their money into the foreign. And of course, just like Mr. Chairman said, if you're not economically viable as a country, then you can't pay the big ones. And I think that being a coastal or a littoral state, over 80% of our foreign engagement in terms of trade coming through the sea. That suggests that our strength will really rely on our ability to harness all the economic benefits of the ocean and the waters as our major source of strength. This effort has contributed to raising an environment of business for its own business as a stable security framework for such economic growth and investor confidence. In some of the measures we put in place, community policing uh, strategy which enabled us to uh, interface with members of the public, interface with various uh, business concerns, interface with The community, this strategy goes a long way to really reflect the senses of business operation by creating a secure environment where businesses can flourish. When businesses feel safe, they tend to invest more, expand operation, and again more productively. It increases the crime, means fewer disruption, better work, work attendance, and improves supply chain. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.